good morning. This is going to be um, the weekly Twin Flame reading. Um, I'm sorry if you hear my dogs in the background. They're being kind of noisy this morning. Um, I just got in from delivering newspapers, and um, this is like my hour that um, I really do my best readings um, early in the morning. And plus, my internet takes forever. <laughs> I don't even know why I have internet because it literally takes like two, three hours to upload a video. So I do that when I go back to sleep. Um, during the day when I upload them, a lot of times I'll run over to a friend's house because um, I really don't want to have my phone tied up that long, you know, because I use my phone for videos. Um, I'm real primitive. <laughs> But I, I know I've had a lot of things come up this week in my own twin flame journey. Um, I am more balanced than ever. I have more clarity than ever. Um, I uh, have been magnetizing um, way more um, higher vibrational um, interactions um, with my twin flame. Um, so I do feel like I am the person, you know, to be able to do um, this reading for you. Um, I did want to say like if that you are new to my channel or my twin flame videos I do not focus on your partner I focus on you because this is a journey of the soul this is a union of your soul and um, I say it all the time look at your um, twin flame or the physical form of your twin flame which is really how you want to look at them because they're just the physical form none of us are our physical form we're our all are our souls and you and your twin flame are the same energy the same soul um, but don't focus on them at all they're like your shadow side and um, so I'm gonna kind of get into that more but to focus on them keeps them away so you know that's the reason why I had to leave a lot of the twin flame groups and stuff because I saw really how much harm that they were doing because people sit in there all day long focused on oh I saw this sign I saw his birthday or I saw her her address or her area code or you know whatever it is um, and to be focused on them and or anything in the physical world whatsoever will keep them away because this is an inner journey, a journey of the soul. So that is the reason why I focus on you. Um, if that doesn't resonate with you, if you prefer, you know, to hear what they're doing with their karmic partner or whatever, then this video is not for you because I don't do that. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. I did get a new, some new decks of cards. I got this Alice in Wonderland tarot card. I was really wanting to do um, readings yesterday, but I was divinely guided to rest and recharge. It was driving me crazy because I got these new Dex cards. Um, this is the Six of Pentacles. And I was laughing. Don't he kind of look like Donald Trump? <laughs> um, but basically the message that I'm getting with this, okay, and because to clarify it is banishment. And I'm going to get to that here in a minute. If you have been ghosted or blocked by your twin flame or the physical form of your twin flame, this is a good thing. This is a gift from your soul and understand they are not doing it. You have to get to the point where you realize that your soul is doing both ends of everything. Everything that you're doing, all this clearing and all this um, work, inner work that you are doing for the both of you, because yes, if you're watching this video, you are the one doing all the work. Um, it helps them also. But your soul is orchestrating both sides. So if you have been blocked or ghosted, this is a gift from your soul. And you know what this means? Does this mean that we um, should go and sit up on a group somewhere and complain with others about what our twin flame is or isn't doing? No. This is a time to really focus and go within. And um, whatever comes up to work through it. I know when my twin flame used to ghost me, um, I really had to work through that codependency and that fear. Um, that fear of loss because codependency is not love. And, and the main, one of the main purposes, um, in the physical sense anyway, of the twin flame journey is to um, work through codependency and to learn what love is and what love isn't. So take this time um, and the only way to really face codependency is dead on, head on, cold turkey. It's an addiction. 
you are addicted to the physical form of your twin flame and this is giving you a detox period and anyone who has ever been through rehab knows that I think it's like the first 10 days of um, rehab is like detox or depending on what you are on you know um, and so this is consider this like a detox period and treat it like you would any other addiction um, because with this banishment card what I'm getting is is that's that ghosting um, that blocking um, and understand that physical union comes last and physical union cannot come until you no longer are dependent on it your life no longer revolves around it is no longer your focus you're all right without it and only then can it come in that is the twin flame paradox and so um, the more you focus on it the more um, you push it away and I have said this before that the law of attraction works in any area of your life but twin flame union because you cannot manifest yourself so if you start looking at your twin flame as um, an extension of you um, your shadow side you will stop suffering and you'll stop taking shit so personally especially when you realize that your own soul is orchestrating everything because you share a soul that's what this is all about you are the yin and the yang um, we have the lovers card <clears throat> and so basically what I got with this as soon as I pulled this was that is this is that whole um, my the physical form of my twin flame has ghosted me for a karmic partner energy and now I want them to choose me and come back to me I have um, and I'm not gonna get into any names or you know which I wouldn't do that anyway but there is a group that I'm in that um, there's this person who <laughs> I'm talking about three four times a day is always talking about um, her twin flame and the karma partner and the karmic partner is trying to keep them apart and um, She just wants him to wake up and realize that she is the one for him <laughs> I mean it just goes on and on and on and you know I I've tried to like kind of comment in a way that doesn't seem egotistical but she doesn't get it you know and I finally just, you know, decided to stop beating a dead horse. I had to leave the group. I had to unfollow her on Facebook. I mean, I didn't unfriend her or block her. I just had to unfollow her because I just can't, you know, take in all that. But it's not about the karmic partner. For one thing, and I know it's very hard for you to believe, but when I first started on this journey, I've had many teachers, and my original teacher would say, the 3D are the illusions. You have to be able to see through the illusions. And I thought, how in the hell? Because it seems real as hell to me. I mean, it, when I was going through it, when it seemed like the physical form of my twin flame ghosted me for a karmic partner, my heart was on the floor, ripped out of my, my soul was ripped out of my body. Um, it was the most painful thing I had ever experienced in my life. Um, it seemed very real. And I had a lot of bitterness, a lot of hurt, a lot of anger. And I was in that energy too. Like, why won't he just come back to me? I don't understand. I mean, she doesn't have anything on me. Like, she's not even half the woman I am. I don't understand this. It makes no sense to me. But the point that I have gotten to at in my journey now, and you have to trust and believe that that shit never even happened. It was all in my imagination. I imagined and dreamed up a whole karmic partner as well as a whole lot of other fucked up situations. And the whole time, he wasn't doing anything. You know, and he would tell me, he would come through and be like, oh, I miss you, I wanna be with you. I'm like, no, you know, you be with that bitch. <laughs> I would, I was like, no, be with her. Or, you know, or I would accuse him of stuff all the time. Or he'd be like, no, I was at my mom's house. I'd be like, whatever, I know you were with somebody, you know. And I never believed anything he was saying. And he always was telling the truth because I was the one seeing shit and making up stuff. And my imagination was just running wild. And that reflected on me. And whenever you're creating these situations in your mind, which is the matrix, guess what? They're going to reflect it back to you. Um, because that is the energy 
And so you have to get to the point where you trust the physical form of your twin flame. Because it's you. It's your soul. Do you not trust yourself? Do you not trust your soul? And that is the energy you need to get in. And stop focusing. And, and whenever it does seem like they have um, left you for somebody else, don't focus on it. Whatever you focus on grows. To clarify the lover's card, we have reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Now, if I were going to do a typical, you know, basically 3D physical relating experience, um, twin flame reading, I would tell you, oh yeah, he's leaving his karmic partner. He's coming back to you. But that is not the focus. And you know what? You have all the power anyway. Because once you stop focusing on it and you stop making that situation grow, guess what? It goes away on its own accord. You created it. You manifested it through your fears. So now stop feeding it. And focus on you. Focus on whatever comes up. Do feel what you feel. Honor your feelings. It's your thoughts you have to be mindful of because it's our thoughts that are creating our reality. You can feel all you want. Feel your way through this. In fact, this is a feeling journey. You need to be feeling your way through it and not thinking. Um... You have the power to make this happen, but this needs to not be your focus. Your focus needs to be you. Stop seeking something outside of yourself because they are you. People used to tell me that, and I'm like, how in the hell? It doesn't make any sense to me. But once you reach a certain point of enlightenment, of ascension, and understand, recognizing, recognizing having soul recognition with your twin flame, Okay, with the physical form of your twin flame. Is the first step to your ascension. This is about ascension. It's not even about romance. So release the fairy tale. You can get to the point where you balance enough where you can be together with your twin flame physically if that's what you choose. And believe it or not, some people will get balanced and stuff and choose to be with a soulmate instead. I know it's really hard for you to believe right now. But it's true. We have the judgment card, okay? And so this is that duality. And I have said this before, we are created to experience duality. We are divine beings having human experiences. And we're, we were created in two in order to experience the illusion of separation. You know, to experience this whole um, separation and this duality. And duality is opposites, left, right, up, down, black white and really duality doesn't exist because there's only oneness and all souls work uh, make up this patchwork quilt that forms the universe and um, we're all a part of it and we all share the same consciousness believe it or not now um, we all have our individual traits and this is because we have had these human experiences that we have learned and we have grown from because as souls we want to learn what it's like to be a human because eventually when all waves have met their twin flame yes everybody has a twin flame that's how we were created but not everybody has met theirs if you have met yours and understand i say me it's really hard to say meet when you're already together but have soul recognition in the physical sense in the 3d um, this means your soul was ready. So this is, this is, just means that, you know, everything that you've been through so far has prepared you for this journey. And so eventually everybody will have soul recognition with their twin flame. And it may not even happen in this lifetime. I was told it won't. But once that happens and everybody is ascended, that is when the earth as a whole can ascend and we will have a new earth and it'll be higher vibrational. We won't be stuck in these 3D energies. I know I've seen groups where people are talking about it's happening now. How can it happen now when you have so many people walking around um, in lower energies who are unconscious? That doesn't make sense. Really question things that you see and you read and you hear about on the internet, really question them and make sure that they really do resonate with you. And don't use Google for spiritual information. Don't use memes for spiritual information. Go within. Connect to your spirit guides. Connect to your soul family, to your ancestors. 
to clarify that judgment card. And so the message that's coming through with that judgment card, sorry, I missed my point altogether, is to stop judging things as good and bad. Accept them as they are. It just is. Be like, you know what? It just is. Whatever is happening is just happening. And believe it or not, collapsing this duality and not seeing opposites anymore and seeing wholeness is the key to being into union with your twin flame. This is key. So stop judging judging things. And I would recommend that you check out The Power of Now by Eckhart Tolle because he talks about this very thing. Um, another really good book to, uh, to read is uh, Chopra's uh, The Seven Laws of Spiritual Success. And he actually talks about um, trying to be mindful and start spending a day not judging things. Not judging things, not judging uh, people, circumstances, just accepting them as they are. There's power in that. I got these um, cards. They're called the Self-Compassion Deck. And they're actually not tarot or oracle cards, but um, they have such beautiful messages. I thought I would incorporate them into my readings. I'm really excited about them. So the one that I pulled was Opening the Heart. Bring to mind someone with whom you're having a conflict. Notice the tension of heaviness that arises in your heart. Now send yourself compassion for three breaths and notice if there is a shift. And so basically what I'm getting with this, and I know forgiveness has been a big theme for me. Um, for one thing, you have to forgive the physical form of your twin flame, for one thing. Because they're you, and they're not doing anything. Your soul is orchestrating everything your joined soul energy okay so keep that in mind and plus anybody who's caused you any pain even you know your so-called karmic partner of your twin flame is soul family everyone has their part to play anyone um people are a perfect mirror so if you've had a conflict with somebody lately look at the lesson in it and look at what they're trying to show you and forgive them because they are soul family um so definitely do release that because it takes a lot of energy to hold on to any type of unforgiveness or bitterness or grudge. Use that energy instead to manifest more good things in your life. Um, more money, you know, a, a better job. Whatever it is that you're trying to manifest, use your energy for that. I like those self-compassion cards. I'm really excited about them. The King of Pentacles. And so basically what I was getting with this card also, because I'm going to get back to this card. To clarify it is uh, stillness, pause, and delicacy. And so this stillness and this pause, what I'm getting with that is to release your inner control free. You do not have to focus on your twin flame connection 24-7. In fact, when you're doing that, you're really... Um, that is that energy you don't want to be in, that focusing on them. Remember I said don't focus on them? Because focusing on them keeps them away. Because there's two polarities. There's you and then there's them. Okay, when you're focused on them, they're going to focus on anything other than you. The key to magnetizing them back in is to focus on yourself and treat yourself the way that you want them to treat you. Now, if you start showing yourself um, more compassion and more acceptance, you know, and even if you do find yourself obsessing about your twin flame, be mindful of it. You'd be surprised how many times a day you do that and in what ways you're doing that. And I'm going to get into that here in a minute. But accept that about yourself. Be like, you know what? I realize that I'm having a day to where I'm feeling really, really needy. Um, I'm really focused on the physical form of my twin flame. I accept that about myself. And really try to figure out what it is that you want from them and give it to yourself. That's helped me a lot. But another thing that I've noticed, too, is that people will sit up and post shit all day long, all day long on social media, all day long about their twin flame. <laughs> Memes about twin flame connections. Energy updates, readings, this, that, whatever. It's all fucking day long. 
you don't have to focus on this all day long. In fact, the more you focus on it, the more you keep it away. So do find some hobbies, some interests, something besides focusing on the physical form of the twin flame. Now do, if things come up, I know I have certain hours of the day, early in the morning or at night, different time periods when I work with my spirit guides. My spirit guides have let me know that this is basically a free time period where they can work with me and this is not going to affect my connection. So do take that time, that stillness, and that pause even to connect to your spirit guides. And you can do this by meditating. I know a lot of times I do when I'm taking a bath is a really good time for me. Early in the morning or at night time, I, I, you know, whenever those downloads of information come in. And this is a free time. This is not going to affect your connection when you're working with your guides. In fact, my guides have told me that. Yes, you're kind of focused on the physical form of the twin flame right now in the connection, but this is our time to work with you. Um, do delegate a time. Let it not be all day long. <laughs> we have the Eight of Wands. And so basically the energy that I was getting with this is that this twin flame journey comes to really um, change you. I mean, I, I've had so many changes. I left a marriage of 20 years. I've lost two jobs. Um, I've lost lots of people in my life who've walked away from me. But, you know, as a result of this, I've learned to clear a lot of fears. For one thing, I, I no longer need the approval of others. I no longer need anything or anyone outside of myself. Um, I'm no longer scared to lose things, to lose people. I've faced all kinds of fears. Um, so whatever comes up, do work on it and do clear it. And it's not this journey. I know it seems like it can be hard, but once you get to the point where you can see the magic in it and the blessing and the gift in it, oh, it's just so beautiful. I mean, it's such a beautiful energy and you just feel so blessed to be a part of this journey. Um, to clarify that card, we have walking away. And so what I'm getting with this is that something comes up that no longer resonates with you because as you align more and more to your soul and strip off more of those layers of the onion that are not you to get closer to the core of who you are, things are not going to resonate anymore. People aren't going to resonate anymore. Your job might not resonate. You know, you might remember, wake up to the fact uh, from your soul amnesia um, to your spiritual gifts. That's what happened to me. I had never read tarot cards before. <laughs> I, and, you know, so all I started remembering my spiritual gifts. I woke up to them. So don't be scared to walk away from situations which no longer serve you. Um, really do detach. I know I was divinely guided for like a whole year to leave a job and I wouldn't do it and um, dummy me, you know, uh, my spirit guides kept saying, okay, dummy, it's time to go, it's time to go. Well, I, you know, the shit hit the fan in January and I got fired and got myself into some trouble at work and it's kind of a long story, but I was kind of kicking myself that I stayed around as long as I did. So do follow your spiritual guidance do you know what you're guided to do if not it'll just be taken from you stripped away the universe will make sure to it it'll just be stripped away from you four of pentacles so basically what i'm getting with this card is that with um the whole stripping away new things will be added into you you will as you start aligning more to your soul you will start realizing that, you know, you have a soul purpose, just like my soul purpose is, you know, basically teaching people, um, preparing others. You know, I have other videos that I do. I do a past life reading. I'm about to start doing runes. Um, so do watch for my runes videos. I do zodiac signs and this is part of my, um, soul purpose and this is what I'm supposed to do. Um, and I'm really um, grounding this energy into the physical. My thing is, is that the more that I ascend, you know, and the higher vibrational my videos get, the more people drop off and the more subscribers I lose and the more views I lose. Because people come to these type of videos where they want to, they want a quick fix. 
They want to know when is their partner coming back? Um, when is their partner going to leave their karmic partner? Um, when is this going to happen? And, you know, my thing is, is I teach people that you are in, you know, you, I, want, I don't want to say control because control is an illusion, but you have all the power. It all reflects on you. And time is an illusion anyway. No one can tell you when anything is going to happen at all. Nobody. But, you know, as you start ascending, um, this energy grounds to where after a while um, you will, you know, possibly even go through like an identity crisis where, you know, I call these ego deaths where, you know, the ego is getting out of the way. Um, the ego will fight, though. The ego doesn't want you to be happy. That's that devil energy. Um, that's that energy that wants you to be in control, to know everything, to stay focused on uh, the physical form of your twin flame, um, to stalk them on social media, to really be obsessed with them. Um, because the ego knows that the more you push them away, the safer it is. Because when you stop doing those things and you're actually able to work with your soul energy and magnetize your, the physical form of your twin flame in, the ego knows that its days are numbered. Um, I've got to a point where I'm very aligned to my soul energy now and um, my ego, I can tell, like it doesn't flare up like it used to, but I can tell it to take a seat. Um, but the, you do ground this spiritual energy into the physical realm. And after a while, um, it just becomes second nature. We have the chariot card. And so basically, anything that um, having to do with the twin flame, once you start doing this work, this is very important. They can come in instantly. Have you ever noticed? I don't know if your connection's like mine is, but mine he he used to. Like he's coming in more and more often now. Like he you know contacts me all day long now. <laughs> he used to ghost me for weeks, and then he'd pop in, and then he'd say something fucked up that would trigger me. I'd be like, why in the hell would he ever say that to me? And then I'd be all upset, and then I'd block him for a while and be like, fuck it, I'm done with this journey. I don't want to talk to him anymore. But once you get to the point where when you have these physical relating experiences with your twin flame, because you will start magnetizing, you know, them in more and more, when they do say something messed up, or if they do do something that you're like, God, ah, what, what the hell? Look at it as this is your soul showing you and preparing you and testing you to see if you're ready. So do be prepared to pass those tests because they can come in really quickly, like on a chariot. Like, you know, they pop in and out and be like, damn, where do you come from? There he goes again. Um, and what I've noticed is once you get real excited, like let's say you haven't heard from the physical form of your twin flame for a couple weeks and they message you, hey, baby, how you doing? I miss you, whatever. And you're just like all on that shit. You're so excited. I used to be like, oh, wow, just text back real quick. I want to hear him text back for you. Runs off again, you know, and um, then he'd be gone again. I'm like, damn. It's because you get so excited about it. And for one thing, you're judging. You're judging that as good. Okay, they have came back. This is a good thing. Oh, they've left again. This is a bad thing. Whereas once you balance your energy and you're just like, oh, it's whatever. You know, okay. All right, they come, you know, he's come back in. It's just a test. It's just my soul just preparing me. Okay, all right, I see this for what it is. Then they start coming in more and more, and they stop running off the way, you know, like in and out. And in and out, you start balancing that teeter-totter more. I talk about that teeter-totter all the time. So don't get all excited when they come back in. In fact, don't, you know, don't text back right away. Sometimes I don't. Sometimes I wait a couple hours or a couple days. <laughs> My fearless freedom lights up the world. You have to um, be fearless. And this is what I was talking about, transmuting fears into love. And that's what we're here for. And that's what you're doing whenever um, they do show you something. And you know it might trigger you. But once you look at it, you'll be like, you know what? I accept this about myself. I accept that, you know, I get scared sometimes. I accept the fact that I get obsessive or I get jealous or I get this or that. And you accept it and you love that about yourself anyway. Two things happen. One... You transmute that fear into love. 
two, whatever you resist persists. So once you start resisting it and you accept it, acceptance is the key to change. It'll stop showing up because you're not feeding it anymore. This whole journey is energy. It's all about energy. I promise you it is. And you really have to balance your own energy. This is an energetic journey. It has nothing to do with the physical realm. So stop focusing on physical shit and learn how to navigate it and it'll go a lot easier for you. All right, let me read this postcard oracle card. I have not read it yet. Let me see what it says. Dear you, check in occasionally with yourself about your motives behind actions you plan on taking, especially when you have an end game in mind. Is the source of your motivation, desire, or entitlement? Maybe you're drawn to a certain path because you think it will bring you a feeling related to the outcome you seek like safety or wholeness. Know that you will see a reflection in the outer world of the motive that drives you forward. Do you need a motive? Can you simply be pulled in the direction your soul calls you to, calls you toward joy, discovery, growth, or adventure, participating in something compelling and meaningful without trying to define it? Don't judge it. That's that judgment. If you can step forward, surrender to whatever spirit has in store for you, you will be amazed at how things turn out. Check your motives, then hand them over to spirit. Everyone here wants the best for you. Life loves you more than you know. I'm going to let this be still here for a minute because I would like it very much if you guys could um, screenshot this because this is beautiful. Stop trying to define everything. Everything does not have to be judged, labeled, um, defined, put in a box, in a 3D box. Um, in fact, when you do that, you're creating. So let's say, I'm going to say this real quick because I know this video is a little long. So let's say, for example, like um, your twin flame comes in and you get all excited and all happy about it. Well, then when they leave again, what happens? You're sad again. And the whole goal is to be balanced by yourself. So um, make your goal to balance your energy and to not let it be about physical union with your twin flame this is not about romance this is an inner union of the soul so do stay focused on that all right well if anyone would like to have a personal reading um it's uh 50 and you get um about 40 minutes of my time and we video chat we interact the whole time i can let you know where you're at on your journey um, exactly what's blocking you what you need to work on um also, if you'd like to make an energy um, donation, I'll include all that information in the description of the video. Thank you for watching.